First, we'll multiply a monomial by a binomial. Similar to the multiplication of integers, in the multiplication of polynomials, we use the distributive property. Each term of the polynomial is multiplied by the monomial. For example, multiply 8 times 3 equals 24, and 8 times 5 equals 40. Notice that the rules of multiplication of monomials have been applied. The exponents have been added. 1 plus 2 equals 3 in the first product, and 1 plus 1 equals 2 in the second one. Now let's multiply two binomials. Multiplying binomials is often called the FOIL method, where F stands for first terms, O for outside terms, I for inside terms, and L for last terms. Let's try this example. Multiply. Following FOIL. First terms, x times x equals x squared. Outside terms, x times 3 equals 3x. Inside terms, 4 times x equals 4x. Last terms, 4 times 3 equals 12. Combine like terms, 3x plus 4x. Answer, x squared plus 7x plus 12. Another example, multiply. Following FOIL, first terms, 3a times 2a equals 6a squared. Outside terms, 3a times negative b equals negative 3ab. Inside terms, 5b times 2a equals 10ab. Last terms, 5b times negative b equals negative 5b squared. Combine like terms, negative 3ab and 10ab. Answer, 6a squared plus 7ab minus 5b squared. Now let's look at some special products of binomials. Special binomials are binomials that look similar. However, because the positive and negative signs are at different locations, their products change. The first one is a plus b squared. The product of this one, using FOIL, is a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared, which equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. The second one is a minus b squared. The product of this one, using FOIL, is a squared minus ab minus ab plus b squared, which equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. The third one is a plus b times a minus b. The product of this one is a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. The middle terms cancel out. That's the negative ab and the positive ab, giving us a squared minus b squared. Notice again that in the multiplication of the third one, negative ab and positive ab cancel out. Because of this, this particular special product is called the difference of two squares. It is important to know here that the opposite of the difference of two squares, which is the sum of two squares, a squared plus b squared, cannot be the product of any multiplication. Now let's multiply a binomial and a trinomial. We continue to multiply each term of the first polynomial by every other term of the second polynomial. For example, multiply first term of binomial times trinomial x times 2x squared x times negative 7x x times 15 second term of binomial times trinomial 3 times 2x squared 
3 times negative 7x, 3 times 15. Combine the result of both multiplications. 2x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus 45. Now let's multiply two trinomials. We continue to multiply each term in the first polynomial by every other term in the second polynomial. For example, multiply first term of first trinomial times second trinomial. 2x squared times 3x squared. 2x squared times negative 6x. 2x squared times 9. Now, second term of first trinomial times second trinomial. 5x times 3x squared. 5x times negative 6x. 5x times 9. Finally, third term of first trinomial times second trinomial. Negative 3 times 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 6x. Negative 3 times 9. Combine all three products. Answer, 6x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 21x squared plus 63x minus 27.